Okay, so these three are the uh, algorithms we covered in the first class uh, uh, in this topic. And then for the second class, we talk about some you know, more advanced uh, sorting algorithms, as you have mentioned. Uh, one of them, which is uh, uh, more widely used one, is the quick sort. Quick sort. Cool. So uh, can anyone tell me what's the average time complexity for quick sort? Order log n. Right, and log n. Very good. And log n. So we see that you know in the, or, the the average or the amortized complexity for quick sort is better than double sort, selection sort, and insertion sort. Right. So here's another tricky problem. So what's the worst time complexity for a quick sort? In the worst case. N squared. Maybe. Right. N squared. So can you tell me why? Um, um, I can't remember. Maybe if the array is sold, already sold in a... Already, sorry? Yeah. But I, can't, I can't remember the details. Okay, cool. Uh, so this one is also tricky, actually. Uh, the, um, the reason for that is that uh, the performance of quick source actually depending on how good you are in selecting the pivot. That is the number to dividing the entire array into two parts, right? So if you are picking, you know, you know, very, you know, bad, you know, pivots, then it's not increasing the performance. For instance, uh, if the array is, um, let's say, three, one, four. Five, six, two. Right. We're going to sort this array. Then, you know, if we pick something like, you know, we would pick four. Then after a, a, after a pass, it will become the numbers less than four, which are three, one, two, and number four, and the numbers greater than four, five, six. Then we, we are dividing, you know, this array size of six into a size of three array size of one array and a size of two array. It's actually splitting the scale half, right? However, if we are picking something like one, then we are you know, transforming a, a size, size six array into one and a size five array. Then if we are keep picking the worst pivots, then actually we will still use n passes and for each time the scale only decreased by one, right? So it will be fn equals to m plus fn minus 1. And according to the algorithm theory, we know that the time complexity will be order n squared. Okay, but that's the uh, worst case situation. So when, when, when you are implementing the quick sort, uh, a proper selection of the uh, pivot number will be very important. And uh, you can use you know, randomized or some other techniques to avoid keep, you know, picking bad pivot numbers. And then, cool. And then, what's the? And then, in the best situation, every time we can split the array into you know two nearly equal halves, so then the complexity will be order n log n two. Cool. Very good. So so far, any more questions? Good. Very good. Um, then we also cover some other sorting algorithms. Uh, one of them is a heap sort. And one of them is merge sort. And can anyone tell me what are their average time complexity? Still and log n. Uh, both of them? Yeah. Cool. Very good. Still and log n. Right. And then in heap sort, we are actually using the data structure of heap. A data structure of heap to organize the data. And then everyone we and in every pass we can pop the smallest number from the heap and reorganize that, right? So we need we need the smallest number for n times and in each time is a uh, you know it's pop top of the heap and then reorganize the heap so it will be n times log n to be the total time complexity. That's how heap sort works. Uh, then um, 
In the best case, of course, is to order n log n. And in the worst case, because we are organizing the data in this heap data structure, in the in this heap data structure, so actually it's guaranteed that every pop in, or every reorganization of the structure will take you know only order log n time to, to you know to imagine it. So in the worst case, you can still finish in order n log n. So let's you know if we compare heap sort and quick sort, we can see that uh, heap sort is performing you know more you know reliable than quick sort because of the worst case performance. Um, sorry. Then, the last one in this group is the merge source. Uh, can anyone you know, still remember how does merge sort works? Uh, let's take example of 3, 1, 5, 2, um, 4, 6. So if you are applying a merge sort, so how would you do to this array? We will split it into two half and uh, then split each half into two and then when you split at the bottom you will got just two numbers and then you sort them and then you merge the two parts into a bigger one and yeah. Very good, very good. So the first step is we uh, split, split the array into two halves. Then the second part is to sort them, you know, separately. Sort each of them. And the third step is to merge the two sorted arrays. Right? And then actually it will, you know, keep going down. So actually this is applying one of the algorithm we are uh, we have talked about in the very beginning of the uh, of the course. So can anyone remind what techniques is used in this merge sort? We are covering that in the third week of our class. Divide, divide and conquer. conquer. Right. So merge sort is using the divide and conquer. So divide and conquer is a you know very basic technique, but it's widely used and actually very effective. So. Using the idea of divide and conquer, merge sort get this order n log n performance. And in the best case, it's order n log n. And in the worst case, it's also order n log n. Cool. Then we can see that, uh, you know, this uh, quick sort, heap sort, and merge sort, these three advanced sorting algorithms uh, all achieve the uh, average performance of order n log n. However, in the worst case, only heap sort and merge sort can guarantee a, a n log n you know, performance in the worst case. Right. Uh, so, which one is better, the heap sort or merge sort? Uh, you mean, which one is the best among them? Uh, yeah, uh, just the, the big, uh, the heap sort and the merge sort. What's the um, advantage uh, or disadvantage of these two? Because they all have the same runtime here. Mm -hmm. Uh, very good. So um, if we are comparing these two algorithms, their performance are you know mostly you know similar with each other. If you are really interested in what are the differences or in what cases there are difference, we can see it this way. In the heap sort, actually the you know the actually running time is depending on how you organize the data structure of the heap. Actually, in the size and heap, you know, the actually the shape of the heap is, you know, is you know steady, and the depth of it is you know, you know, it's also steady, right? So actually, the n log n is pretty you know much of guaranteed here, and it's not, and it's not depending on whether your input array is sorted or not, right? So because. You know, no matter your input array are sorted or not, they will organize everything you know in a heap. However, in the merge sort, if your you know original array is nearly sorted, let's see if the input is something like this. See, this array is nearly sorted. In that way, for after the first first step of the merge sort, we are splitting into one, three, two, and five, four, six, right? Then, when we are merging them, actually, you know, um, 
Yeah, actually, split. Split is the same, and then right. And then after we are, you know, after the split and merging them, actually we can use smaller, you know, computational time in reorganizing the the sequence of them. Because you know, after merging them, this you know, many components in this subarray will still, you know, locate in this subarray. So we don't need to move things around. So in 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 that case, actually, this one may use a little bit less time than the you know than the heap sort. I think that's the difference between. But it's a very good question. Cool. And actually, in the end of this class, I will also show you some very fancy animation to compare these uh, things, and you will see how you know how how they works. Right. Cool. Uh, and then there are still some a few other sorting algorithms we need to we, we want to cover a little bit here uh, and then so the first one we talked about in the previous class is the counting sort counting sort so counting sort is uh, oh yeah so all of these first six sorting algorithms are based on comparison 